I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve inequality of a reciprocal function. The question is solve 1 plus 1 over x greater than or equal to 2 and then we need to graph the solution on a number line. Uh, now what I will do here is I will provide you with incorrect solution first. Now incorrect solution actually teaches us a lot. So you need to figure out what is the mistake which I am doing in providing you incorrect solution. Now we'll start with the question which is 1 plus 1 over x greater than equals to 2. So we can take away 1 from both sides. We get 1 over x is greater than equals to 2 minus 1 or we say 1 over x is greater than equals to 1 and now we can multiply by x and so we get 1 is greater than equals to x. So we get a solution here and the solution is that x is less than or equal to 1. Correct? So that is the solution which we get and we can actually write down this solution or show it on a graph also. Let us say this is our number line right? and here we have a 0. We are saying that x is less than or equal to 1. So let's say this is 1. It is included. And that is the solution set. So that is what we get solution. And well, that's what we get from here. See, if you want, you can check some values. Well, first thing we should write when we have done this. So there are a lot of mistakes here. Let's go through the mistakes now. Okay, so, so let's begin by pointing out mistakes. Now if I write 0 here then we get 1 over 0 which definitely is not a part of solution. So in such a question first thing is we should write that x is not equal to 0 right since 1 over 0 is not defined. Now if I write x as let us say minus some value right let's say 1 then it is okay 1 over 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2 but if I write minus 5 then it is 1 minus some number and that is not greater than or equal to 2 correct so if you test a point let us say if you test x equals to let us say minus 1 so if I write minus 1 here what do I get I get uh, 1 minus 1 0 I get 0 is greater than or equals to 2 which definitely is wrong right so which is wrong so that means our solution is incorrect can you tell me what are the mistakes well the mistake is right here at this stage when we after this I mean from here to here when we multiply by x x could be negative if x is negative then I have to interchange the sign that is the mistake if x is positive then the solution is okay but if x is negative then the solution is not correct so at this stage x could be if x is less than 0 then what then this is not valid so that is the mistake correct now let us see how to really solve it uh, correctly right so now let me write down here correct solution now as we found that 1 plus 1 over x greater than or equals to 2 has a restriction and the restriction is that x is not equal to 0 it should be spelled out right in the very beginning now we will do the same step that is taking away minus 1 or adding minus 1 both sides. So we get 1 over x is greater than or equals to 2 minus 1 which is 1 over x is greater than or equals to 1. Now important thing here is that x could be negative or it could be positive right. Therefore at this stage what we should do is we should provide two solutions right one where x is less than zero that means x is negative and where x is greater than zero that means x is positive 
x equals to 0 is not valid. Correct? If x is greater than 0, in that case, we can cross multiply this and write 1 is greater than equals to x. That is fine. But if x is less than 0, that means x is negative. We have to change the sign. So it becomes what? It becomes 1 less than equals to x. Do you understand? So the sign has to change if x is negative number. That is a critical issue. Now, how to write the solution? Now in this case, we are saying x is greater than 0. In that case, x should be less than equal to 1. That means, that means what? That means that the solution is from 0 to 1, right? So it does not include 0, but it includes 1. So that is the solution on this side. On the other hand, we are saying when x is negative, then x should be greater than or equal to 1. Now, now, how is that a solution? When x is negative, it cannot be greater than 1, so that is no solution. And therefore, for this particular question, we get just one solution, that is, all the values of x could be between 0 and 1. On a number line, we can show this solution as, let us say this number line has a 0 here, right? Then, our solution set is not including 0, but up to 1. 1 is included. So that becomes the solution set for the given question. I hope you understand and appreciate this method. We'll follow a different method in the next video. Have a look at that also. Thank you and all the best.